Hello, my name is Ilona and today is Thursday, May 23rd, 2024. I already mentioned I'm going to take a week off. I will be back Monday, June 3rd, 2024. So I'll hope to see you then, of course. First thing I wanted to mention is, of course, that Klaus stepped down from the World Economic Forum as executive chairman and now will be a non-executive chairman, which means he's not going to do anything. Pretty much. Well, that's such a sad day, but I think it is really very important that he's stepping down. I, of course, this is publicly announced, but we know that it means something different. So most likely he's got a nice orange suit now or he is in some other place. But we know he's not going to be uh, on the stage anymore. It's interesting to see. Another thing I want to take a look at in this video is that in the uh, United Kingdom, Great Britain, they are going to uh, vote again. Because <laughs> apparently, surprise, surprise, Sunak announced that in July 4th, that apparently they're going to vote again in Great Britain. Interesting to see. So I wanted to take a look at the energies there. Well, the first thing card I've got was the Six of Cups, so this has got to do with something with children, interestingly enough. Although things could come out about children. We've got the Eight of Pentacles, so they're working very hard. This is the central card. We've got the Ten of Wands. Well, this wasn't going anywhere, so probably that's why it's ending. We have the Three of uh, Wands underneath the Eight of uh, Pentacles. We'll have to wait and see what's going to happen. And then we have for the future the, the Temperance card and we have the Knight of Wands. So this is certainly done by Whiteheads or at least Whitehead influences. Like I said, I think things concerning children might come up or something connected with children. They're still working on how they're probably going to bring this in the open. But this, this is just moving things forward. We've got the Three of Wands. So we'll have to wait and see how this is going to work out. But it will ultimately lead to healing. And of course, we have whitehead influences. I have to mention this because it's very important to understand. As long as all these puppets are still here, we it's, it's not going to be a very fair thing. So to me, it feels like they're still, you know, need to work out things because that's why the puppets are here. So even if they're going to vote then it doesn't mean because they're whitehead influences that this is going to be a fair vote or this is going to be uh, you know i understand we have to wait for real true changes that it's only possible after all these puppets have been removed or in another position that they are not in any way can influence things so as long as these puppets are still moving around walking around we are still in the part of Letting that happen, waking up people, I do believe that whatever, if this is going to happen, you know, we don't know what situation we will be in July 4th. But if this will continue, most likely there's going to be puppets again. But this is all part of showing people and understanding how it works and that they really are fed up with it. I'm sure in the United Kingdom, Great Britain and other countries worldwide. People are really starting to get fed up with all these political games, all these things that are happening. It's just, it's, it's exhausting and it's really starting to show and wear people down. So I think this is interesting. I do believe that Whitehead's kind of working behind the scenes with this, that this is now coming out. And ultimately it will to heal, lead to healing for Great Britain, the United Kingdom. And more white hat influencers going to show. So it's going to be interesting and in what will be coming out in the next, you know, months before July, although it's almost there. We're, we're almost in June, so it's not going to last that long, but it's very interesting to see. I do think more and more things are going to come out. The second thing I wanted to take a look at in this video, what I thought was very, very interesting, that Ireland, Norway and Spain are recognizing the Palestinian states. And Israel is not very happy about them. They immediately draw or withdrew their diplomats from, I believe, uh, Norway and Ireland, if I'm not mistaken. 
So they were like, yeah, return home. <laughs> we need to talk about that. Yes, Nora in Ireland, the diplomats were, um, like, how do you say this, had to return to Israel. So they were called back. This is so important that this is changing the narrative. That's what it looks like to me. And it's just massive. Normally speaking, no one was supposed to, you know, say anything against Israel. And that narrative has completely changed. I already looked at, of course, these warrants given out by the uh, International Crime Court. Ultimately, that doesn't mean that much, but it means that the narrative is changing and there's a shift coming. Well, the cards I've got, very interesting. We've got the Tower card. We've got the Death card as the Central card. We have the Six of Cups in the past. Again, that, that Children card. We've got the Two of Pentacles underneath the Death card. And we have, oh, this is interesting. I forgot to take the bigger card. I'm not sure why I've got the small card here. I usually already shuffle the cards in, um, of course, my Dutch video. So, and sometimes the card shows up multiple times. We've got one card in all readings today, and that's the Six of Cups. That's interesting to begin with. So I had the smaller card laying here. So I had to get my bigger card. I'm not sure why I got this one. So I finally got this one. So we have the tower card. We've got the death card as the central card. We've got the two of pentacles underneath the central card as an influence. Then we have the five of pentacles and the ten of swords. This is for the future. I think this, yeah, this is the, the, the order, the correct order. So what does this mean? It's falling apart. The narrative is falling apart. This is ending a certain situation. I think they're still kind of wondering how they're going to bring this out. Or, you know, how they're going to, like, they have two options. But I do believe that the process is already starting. The narrative is changing against Israel. I also talked about this in my Tuesday live. Someone asked me what is the difference between the Gazarians part of the uh, of course in, in in the Jews and the situation there and I wanted to talk about that when I'm talking about Israel I'm talking about the dark energies there and that's usually connected with Kazaria and the Kazarians there they are not really Jews they have nothing to do with that but they're using the shield of the Jews to protect themselves so as soon as you have any criticism at least for a very long time, you were not allowed to have any criticism about Israel in any way, shape or form, because then you were, of course, against that group of people. While the people that are uh, creating this damage are not part of the Jews. That's the sad part of it. They are really the dark energies and we need to separate them. So this is really the narrative that protection is falling away. It's falling apart. And this has been a process that's been going on for quite some time. And it's, it's about the ending of this. I also believe that the, because the other state is now recognized that they won't be able to just get in there. They always wanted that part for uh, at least the dark energies of Israel for a very long time. It's not going to happen that way. Maybe this also symbolizes that two states now and they'll have to work their way around it. And I do believe, if I'm not mistaken, that ultimately... Things are going to change for Israel and there will be a new name as well. Because as we can see here, they are out of, you know, out in the cold and there's no much, no more money anymore. I think Israel is pretty much, or the dark energy is pretty much out of money there. And there's going to be a radical change. So it wouldn't surprise me at all if that area is going to be completely in a different way, a different name, the changes are going to be made. And it can be quite radical here with the Ten of Swords. We also know with the uh, certain letter of the alphabet that things are really, you know, saved for last for a certain reason. They weren't mentioning that at the time, but wouldn't surprise me if it's connected to children. I already spoke about that before in another video. But we're really going to see an end to this. And uh, we are really kind of in that end phase. That's the feeling I'm getting here. So 
this is what I got from the energy with all these recognition of a certain state in the Gaza area. And uh, it will be more difficult for them to just move in there. And of course, uh, the warrants, it's, it's all the narrative is falling apart. Something new is going to happen and it's going to start. The last thing I wanted to take a look at, and there were to take some cards here <laughs> like i said i sometimes have to use my other deck a smaller deck to uh, you know all the if i have double cards we use multiple cards let's see these cards can be put to the side get some space here i want to take a look because i won't be there uh, next week what the energy is for the coming week very interesting enough oh i forgot to mention this one this card also came out for the second card reading about Israel and, of course, the recognition of a certain state in the Gaza area by Spain, Ireland and Norway, the King of Wands. So the White Hats are behind this. They are really working overtime to get everything rolling and they, to collapse that narrative. So for, almost forgot to mention that one. The energies for the coming week, again, the Six of Cups, it's been showing up in each of the um, card readings in this video. This is really about children, so I do believe things about children are going to be popping up next week. We have got the Three of Swords, so old pain, connected to old pain, could be old things coming up about children that have been happening or other things that will open the wound and people are you know beginning to understand what's been going on and there is also the three of cups so there are also going to be celebrations or connections from people getting together so that's the energy for next week so i do believe it's there's going to be an emphasis on children or something connected to children that will cause a lot of pain or old pain coming up I believe that the Three of Cups is mainly for the people that are very, you know, conscious of what's going on. So it may look very hectic and confusing for people that are not truly seeing what's going on. I do believe that people are more getting together and start working on things. I know in Brussels there are uh, initiatives here from farmers to get together for the June 4th, of course, what's happening in Brussels, they're going to be, of course, voting again for the European uh, Parliament, if I'm not mistaken. So this could be very interesting. So the farmers are getting together here in the Netherlands and also in other countries as well to uh, do things to stand up for themselves. And I do think next week, you know, there's going to be more connection. There's an energy of connecting. But there are also going to be certain celebrations. But I do believe that it's only for the people that can see through all those things. It's going to be confusing and hectic. That's really the period that we are in right now and will be in for quite some time. It's the feeling I'm getting that it won't be resolved in like three weeks. I'm hoping for that, but feeling we, we still need to have a little bit more patience with everything that's going on. The advice for next week that's interesting is the... Ace of Wands, we've got the um, Five of Pentacles, the World card, and the Knight of Wands. If I'm not mistaken, this was underneath the deck and I was just drawn to it. So these two cards for the advice is really do things that you like doing, that makes you enthusiastic, start initiatives. Next week, the energy will be there, start moving things. New beginning energetically, you know, take what do you want, what do you want to do and start doing it. And it can be very small just for yourself doing things that you really, truly enjoy. But it's very important that we do those things because it raises our vibration and it's very important to bring in that new energy. That's the, the world card. So next week, um, the advice is to uh, also successfully end certain things because the world card is also the the last card of the major arcana it's also an ending cycle so it's possible that next week you'll be able to end certain things bring in new energy because it's also about the new world that we are creating start manifesting them start doing things that you really want to do initiatives enjoy things because that will bring in the new energies and also look at things that you may feel like you lack maybe you lack finances, love, tension, understanding, 
These are, this means that there is work to do in the shadow work department. So really look inward because the more you connect with yourself, the more you embrace all these convictions you may still have, all these pain, hurt, the more you will heal, the more you will bring in that new energy and you will be connecting with yourself, with your soul, with God, with your intuition. And the more you do that, the more you will draw in people that will connect with you as well. So it's very important if you feel lonely, if you feel like you're all by yourself or left out in the cold, realize that you've left yourself out in the cold. Connect with yourself, connect with God, your intuition, and you will start attracting people in your life. You will start uh, attracting situations that will, you know, suit you and will help you further and will make you happy and enthusiastic and passionate. But it's very important to embrace those feelings in you. The more you connect it with yourself, the more you will align with everything around you. Or at least, maybe say it differently, the world will align with you. The more you are aligned, the more the world, the energy, the reality around you will be aligned with you. So I'd like to leave it at this. Hope to see you Monday, June 3rd, 2024. And uh, have wonderful days ahead of you. Bye.